so the green is out we're away and racing with the Formula 1 stock cars in their heat number two of the evening so trialers Jake Harry goes out right at the beginning there we've got spinners in the back as well of the yellows 268 Richard Woods goes around and uh, gives the blues a fair old scare as well McLaughlin at 115 stuck out of the wall but keeps his traction in uh, down at the back straight so 502 it is Ricky Wilson who leads them through from 545 and his Adams 457 Gill in third so those are your early places in this one Richard Woods back in at the running in car 268 it's 502 Wilson from 545 Adams 457 Gill 463 Morris 526 Sargent after that so that uh, remains at the order at the current time as Wilson in 502 goes through once again Wilson Adams 457 Gill 463 Morris driver managing it to rejoin so 502 it is Wilson leads the way through as uh, Evans gets going again make him uh, just ahead of this leading group as well so 502 Wilson 55 uh, Finnegan into the bumpers down into turn one though and it's Craig Finnegan who now takes up the running so Finnegan now your leader in car 55 as Makin goes out wide gets into a spin oh and he grinds to a stop down there in the corner as uh, everything else 5.45 there, will Adams get set, nudge wide, we are five to run next time please, five next time. Oh, Wilson getting a bit wide down there with the uh, stranded car, Evans the smoke screen uh, getting uh, progressively worse. So around we come, 55, Craig Finnegan a long way clear, Newson now up to second place, Boo this third as uh, out we go for Macon once again, oh Wilson spins it out to the wall down there in uh, turn one as well, so plenty uh, going on as uh, the laps wind down in this, oh and Finnegan gets caught a bit of shunt and he gets taken around, it's Newson who now goes to the front, so Newson that uh, two at the front, it's out there, and Dave Polly 138 now up there in that third place as well. And it's down the back straight for the final time of asking in this. I think Newson is going to hang on for it. Back through we come over the finish and it's red and then checkers. We go to red and checkers. One, two, ball out there, then there was plenty of pace about. Yeah, it's like anything, you know, credit to Kings Lynn for giving us a decent surface. It's never going to be great in this weather, but we understand that and, you know, we do what we can do. Yeah, obviously difficult coming from the back. I mean, as you and Craig trying to tow each other into the race when there's so many quick, you know, white and yellows out there at the minute. Some very, I mean, I couldn't believe that grid for the white and yellows early on. The yellows that were out there was unbelievable. It must be hard work trying to rein them in. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'd already kind of decided for race start all I want to do is have a clean race no nothing heroic it's just first race of the year and uh, keep my nose clean and then I, I got in a second I looked how far Craig was ahead and thought well second here but it's the thing that there's so many cars all over the show that Craig felt you know he, he tangled over one and we'll take that great to have a good win mate we'll uh, got another heat and a final and a grand national to come so a busy night yeah see what we can do see if we can keep winning absolutely right let's get around from so green flag is out, we are away and racing and with tonight's Formula 1 and stock car meeting final. So the race underway for the Formula 1 stock cars and out at the head of it, it's going to be an early break for 392 at Lewis Evans. So Evans it is who makes the running at the front of this. 120 Casey Engelson comes through to second then 545. Oh, and then Newson then gets uh, taken out. Uh, 55 Finnegan involved there. They're both uh, trying to get back in at the same time as well. So at the uh, other end, uh, everything uh, passes off uh, reasonably peacefully. Oh, 526 Finn Sergeant out of shape here on the home straight. 
goes in to the wall very hard so make him get it going again uh, from uh, an early skirmish so out front great battle going on that uh, with the yellows it's 120 Casey Angleston scrambling with 587 Sandbrick the bumper goes in once again down at that end, so 120 Angleston, 587 Brig. They are your 1 2. 545 Adams now in third as in we go the bottom. There's all oh, and 124 Car Gray Smears. Uh, Callum Gillen 457 around the tyres. So 345 Jake Harry rejoins uh, the action after uh, an incident uh, as well, 499 Clayton getting lapped up by Rig there oh, 55 Finnegan, the problems uh, were indeed too bad so Finnegan uh, leaves uh, the arena for this one Next, uh, five, sorry, next time, five next time. So we're going to wave yellows on the raceway, Mr. Star. We're going to wave yellows uh, on uh, the raceway. We're going to wave yellows. Uh, on, it's going to be last uh, lap time on the raceway for Sam Brig in that five eight seven. So Sam Brig. Oh, and uh, 120 Engelson gets uh, caught up and taken out there. With uh, James Morris, it's 583 Brig who comes through and takes the checker to and the victory. You're no stranger to getting a, a quality result around here, and, and that adds to it. Yeah, well, as problems always been dealing with cars, so, you know, being front of grid, we can get away. So, yeah, we had a lot of bad luck when we got to Red Top last year, and yes. yeah, there's plenty of people that's got us here today, you know. Derek and Lee have worked tirelessly after the first day, disaster. Yeah, got me right. sorted, got me back out, sweetened them up with a few pints of milk and <laughs> yeah. Like I say, and his mum and dad back home, you know, manning the ship on the farm, looking after that. So, and uh, of course, his Ben and his family, they've been there. Oh. He's helped us since we raced F2s and it's all come to a peak today. So, so it's green at flag out and away we go with the whites and yellows race at four Formula One stock cars. So the uh, field up and uh, running in this. So early uh, dramas uh, for one or two of the drivers. Oh, 163 Mark Palmer hits a marker tyre in a big way down there as well. Disappears uh, out of the uh, lead contender. So 548 Dan Brook. A little bit uh, more space on his own now. So Brook uh, being uh, caught rapidly there by Richard Woods. It's Woods who goes through and uh, to the front. So Woods, uh, your leader at the current stage in this one. More people uh, coming uh, unstuck out there. So 2.35 going through, Rock Planty 364 heading up for the infield as Richard Woods, our leader, goes through. We are five laps set to run next time. This is Zazada, five next time. Going through is almost certain now a victory in this one. So back through we come, check and flag goes out to 268 Woods, it is uh, who uh, takes uh, the race uh, victory in that one. We are racing with the Formula One stock cars in at heat number one. So away we go in this one. To act at the head of the action. It is uh, Soul White Top Mark Barber in 1 that's 63 who's going to lead at the early moments of this one. 
So, one, two, four, Kyle Gray with uh, a poor start looking there to try and get uh, into the action. And uh, oh, over there, Vicky Brennan uh, in uh, one, six, eight has come unstuck. So, one, six, three it is from three, thirty, eight, Brocks on three, six, four, Plant, then Woods, Hari, Wilson, and uh, so on. So that is, uh, as we have them early on, Willie Scoyles Jr. in 5 4 1 gets uh, rattled out to the wall there with a bit of help from uh, both Wayman and 2 1 7 Lee Fairhurst that time. All sorts uh, going on. 3 6 4 then, Plant at your leader. So 3 2 6, Mark Sargent coming down and uh, gaining. Uh, Ground in to the front, so uh, three two six Sarge now leading the way in this one from Plant in three six four two sixty eight Woods in third. Sam Makeham's out to four fifth is uh, the uh, two one seven machine, and we're halfway next time. It's the starter halfway next time. So half the distance in this uh, event. Oh, and 501 L well gets to half left for 326 Mark Sargent. Ari uh, trailing a bit of smoke now as well. 364 Plant still there hanging on in second, but Ferris is now right up with him. Sorder a bit further back, so he's making him and uh, well Wayman might fancy his chances of getting on terms with making him in this uh, final uh, lap. We come back through for the chequered. Victory is going to go the way of 326 Mark Sargent. Sarge takes it then from Plant, who holds on that from that Fairhurst. Then that it is number five Sorder. Did everybody else crash? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't used to this at 52. <laughs> you know, it's Junior that does all the winning. Yeah. But do you know what? You guys support us. I've been doing this 30 years now. Yeah. And why not? Yeah. We'll take them. A great drive. Car got better yeah. and better and better. Um, Finn set it up. I'm not going to lie, yeah. he set it up, yeah. and the crew, and that would have been on it in the week, and we're busy trying to get his tarmac car ready yeah. for Skeg, so we're not going to do so much, but when we do it, we like to have a drop and come out with a smile, and if we win, then it saves buying the trophy next week, doesn't it? So, green flag is out, and away we go with this one, the uh, Formula 1 stock cars in there, heat at number two. So underway with this one for the uh, Briska Formula Ones and up at the front it's going to be at 2.35 Mick Howarth who leads him through in the early stages so Howarth your leader 3.72 Goodswin next then 1.72 Randall and 1.20 Engelston. So 5.45 Rejoining at the back of the order, Will Adams. It's 2:35. Howarth that leads them still. Randall up to second now, ahead of that 3:72. Goodswin. Matt Newson has gone down there on the exit of four. Tom Harris taking around and out there, going off for turn number two as well. So Howarth still plugging on. The last lap board out there, he will at least make it to the finish if nothing else. And Howarth is going to come round, take the uh, rather sick sounding victory, but a victory nonetheless. Winner then is 235 Howarth from third, 55 Finnegan and 463 at Morris. The car comes good when it's dry, yeah. really good. Um, I think it was this time last year I won my first final here, yeah. so um, you know, we've the cars are there to perform, aren't they? So we've, we've put the effort in and we're here. So we've got what we best start anyway for the well, qualifying rounds anyway. Yeah, absolutely. What, what was the popping and banging? What, what was going on? Something missing somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I'll look for that. So into uh, the uh, closing uh, moments uh, of uh, this one now. It's one three eight. Uh, Polly. Oh! Newson goes in, oh, they have a horrible feeling, they have got the wheels knotted up, and it's check and flag, and victory, 127, Austin Moore takes it, so Moore takes it, Brennan gets second, 
Here the Engelston for third. Green flag out, away we go with this tonight's Formula 1 that's stuck our final. Now we've got a roll straight away, it's red, red, red on the raceway, we go red, red, red on the raceway, it's reds out. Final. So everyone away this time. Oh, down there, James Morris has come unstuck, and a whole queue of cars going behind Sam Bacon involved in that as well. 289 getting around the inside of the tyre, Jake Walker, but he manages to get on his way all okay, and the situation just about clears as the leader goes through. we go Barber in 163 leading the way then in this one oh and in we go once again 45 Hari to 68 Richard Woods both getting away with that one as they all skated out to two at the fence 163 then Barber so we go to wave yellows on the raceway, we go to wave yellows on the raceway. Richard Wood second, Rob Pant in third. Pant now having a look to the inside, can't quite make it work. Austin Moore is right up there as well, and 84 Tom Harris slow with a puncture. So Harris has gone with an outside rear puncture. And at the head of it, Hari still leads the way. Hari Woods, Pant, your one, two, three still. Moore hanging on well in fourth, and he's gaining ground uh, very well into turn on that time, he gets past plan, so uh, Austin Moore up into uh, the uh, top three. So 45 Hari, 268 Woods is looking like he's got uh, the measure of the Midlander and indeed he is down into one and two, Hari runs wide, Richard Woods takes up the running. So Woods now there, 127 Moore in with a bit of a tap as well. What is it going to be? Well no, Hari is uh, hanging on this time. Keeps his second place. Bobby Griffin charging through uh, behind that. And Craig Finnegan with uh, a puncture now on the uh, front uh, by the looks of it. So 268 Woods going through. Woods for a ball. And yeah, 55 Finnegan now off of the raceway as well. Richard Woods there, Austin Ball. Angleston now up to third. And we are halfway next time, it's the starter. Halfway next time. 515 Frankie now goes out to, down here on the home straight as well. So Wayneman becomes the next to, to leave at the raceway. Half distance then, 26 next time, it's the starter. Five next time. Crashing out down there, 415 Cooper just. Uh, avoids uh, that to uh, yellow top so dramas down in the corner Russell Cooper gets uh, away from that one of Bobby Griffin now in the run through on the inside it's Bobby Griffin now who takes it up Charlie Sorder has come to a stop on his way into turn one so Sorder parked up now as well it's 166 Griffin who comes through so Griffin, Engelston and Woods, now your top three, Moore is still fourth, Ferrers after that, then 4-6-3, Morris. Bobby Griffin going through there and Casey Engelston maybe thinking about coming back at Bob Griffin. So it's not a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination, two to go this time as they come back to us. And Engelson just trying to keep it nice and tidy on the corners. Griffin out wider, but they're getting about the same at pace. Oh, and a spin now. England has got in the middle of that one and two as well in three, four, six. Through to third for two, one, seven, Lee Fairhurst. But through we go. Last lap board out there. Last lap time on this one. And Griffin, I think, is going to be uh, through in uh, plenty of time. Gets down there into the final corner. 217 Fairhurst in uh, with uh, the bumpers. Uh, 
and 166 Griffin that takes that time. What a race that was. It, it must have been thrilling to be involved in. It was awesome to watch. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. Um, luckily, I got to the front fairly quick and I had an easy ride as such. Yeah. But um, no, I kept, I kept seeing them coming. I thought, oh, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> but I just managed to get that gap on that last yeah. lap. Pleased with the car though, it looks incredible, it looks like uh, it's going as well as it looks. Yeah, no, it's, it's spot on, a few tweaks and whatever, but no, it, it feels nice, first time around here, yeah. so happy with the final. Yeah, absolutely, it could be a strong year for you. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Black flag for 97, please, Mr. Star, black flag for 97, Harrison.
Richard in Cocky leads the way, 5 2 5. 5 4 1 and 5 1 5. Now Junior Weimer moves up inside the Scots Junior car and comes through for second. 84. Fourth place. Onto the far side of the raceway, Tom Harris. 84 now moves in the side, car number 541 coming through for third. Five laps to go and away, and very quickly Tom Harris away there to move up in the second place behind the car. He races up into the roadside, bend in the lead position with three to go when it comes through this time. 5-2-5, five, five, your leading car. Tom Harris has gone second place in 84, and Junior Wayman in 5-1-5 five, five, is now third. So they race down the uh, back straight there. Paul Harrison, car number two, moves up in the fifth with a huge barrel roll on the back straight. Red, red, red. And we've got a car going over and over, flying through the air on the back straight and landing back on his wheels. The red flags are out on the track. Oh, yeah. Over the line they go, the action is back underway. Two laps left to run. And 84, Tom Harris takes the lead on the back straight. Wayman Jr. dropping back in the fifth place. Comes back with a bump on Paul Harrison. They race three abreast around the turn. Meanwhile, it's Harris that leads in 84. 525, Nigel Lee Cox second. Frankie Wayman Jr. back up the third. Car number one, five, two, and two argue over the fourth position. Jacob flag comes out. It's a win for Tom Harris. Lee Cox in second. Uh, Junior Wayman in third. Formula One Stock Cars European Championship Final at Milton Hall Stadium. They're underway. Great start for Matt Newson, last night's final winner. Off the pole position for the big race today. He leads the way. Car number 16. Across the line he goes to lead lap number one. Frankie Weymer Jr. coming down the track in second place in car number 515. The defending champion. Car number 12, Michael Scriven in third. Here come the rest. Car number five dives up the inside line. Charlie Sorder. Oh, big pile up down there on track as they go through. Several cars involved, including the England Wave Jellos. Very dramatic European Championship with Frankie Wayman Jr., the defending champion, leading in. with Frankie Weyman Jr. leading the way. Car number 515 on the back stretch, being chased by Tom Harris, who uh, went uh, sideways a few laps ago, allowing uh, Frankie to come back through into the lead. 515 leads, 84 in second. Tom Harris getting close, Nigel D. Cock uh, appears from nowhere on the back straight, gets shoved wide. Here comes Tom Harris, clattering into the 515 car and coming through on the inside. Harris leads, Weyman Jr. Down the inside, they are will to will. Two of the biggest stars in the sport. On the back straight is Tom Harris out front who leads 84. Oh, Frankie overcooks it on the top end and hits the banking just uh, ahead of the back marking Lee Fairhurst car. 55, Craig Finnegan using the bumper to move those back markers. Five laps to go next time. Is Finn getting closer to Tom? A little bit, maybe. As the rest race through, 5.25, Decomke battling with the uh, 20 car. As the cars go through again, it's 84, Tom Harris over there on the back. Straight your leader, 55, Craig Finnegan in second, but Harris.
Norris, if anything now, is pulling away. 166 Bobby Griffin, 259 Paul Hines. In the uh, third and fourth place here, second and third. Craig Finnegan in trouble. Finn has uh, dropped down, Paul Hines 259 still going. Here comes Tom. For the double, check it flags. Tom Harris is European champion here at Milton Hall. Yeah, I've uh, I done my best to give it away down here and uh, I thought after that I better put my finger out and uh, the caution helped me but you know I was in lap traffic for a whole a whole lot of laps then and uh, I'm just praying that someone didn't make a mistake in front of me and take us both out. I mean it can happen to anybody here at Milton Hall, can't it? Yeah, that's right and... Uh, the we are back on the green flags. Away we go, what's the team number one for the Formula 1 stock cars? Chris Brooks on that leads at the field away. So make him back, back to try and get back onto the rear of the lead lap. And then we are halfway next time as starter, halfway next time as Wayman gets involved in making 127 Austin Moore has a look at the inside but he can't make it stick. And it is Wayman who leads the way as Bacon drops off tangle there, forcing three. James Morris goes off to the infield and hooks it all as well. Uh, breaking out there with uh, rocks on flat uh, tyre on the outside front. That is his race run. So out at the head of it, 515 Wayman uh, leads the way. 127 Austin Moore next. Charlie Saunders five in third as uh, Moore goes in that part of the half. There we are, five to run next time, please. Five next time. Oh, Peter Hobbs gets it out of shape. Bounces uh, off uh, the tyre. Holds up uh, three or four cars there and gets uh, back on his way. Wayman going through the lap horns now out there. It's Sauna second. Finnick in third. Fairhurst in fourth. Rick rounding out the top five in 587 after that Bobby Griffin then 463 James Morris. So through from these, the last lap ball out there now for 515 Wayman. It's Frankie Wayman into the back straight for the last time of asking in that heat at number one of the evening. He makes his way back around and towards us. Uh, check and flag goes out and it's Wayman who takes it. Wayman the winner from Sorda and Fennekin. Griffin and uh, Brick in that fourth and fifth then. Yeah, no, it was a good race, good right through to be honest. Craig spun it down here, yeah, yeah, yeah. got fired into the back and we had to turn him round and obviously it's one of them, but yeah, the car felt good. I have to say, how unlucky we were both to get caught up with that because that could have happened absolutely anywhere. You're having an amazing battle, really good. I know, well, I could see everyone really enjoying that, to and and throwing. It must have felt good though, the car really seemed on point in that one. Yeah, it was obviously. When you're coming in that hard and that fast, like Craig, he's yeah. the car in front of him, he's got nowhere to go, you've got nothing you can do about it and he totally sideways and then I'm somebody rattling to me, rattled straight into the side of him, turning right around, but yeah. A little bit knotted up briefly there with 172 Mickey Randall. Queen of two all gets himself that sorted out and gets it back of the way. Lewis Claylor's got hooked up there on 499 Mark Clayton. Clayton gets spun around with the leader. That's pulled off so 548 Brook has that left at the party. Oh, and over we go, it's Red on the raceway. Red, red, red to the spot 72 Randall. It's final for the day for Leonard and Memorial. One star cast 515 Wayman, a very quick spin at the start. Nielsen sends that 97 Harrison off and into the tyres as well. Many dramas uh, to uh, begin with. It's 548 Dan Brook leads them through. Harrison, that by the looks of it, is uh, going to uh, call it quits at that way, but also uh, parking up on the infield. It's another punch of him, so Wayman, uh, the front punch of this time. Oh, the Yule goes rattling into Queen, and in 336 we go. Yellows are on the raceway, White Yellows uh, on. So Ferrer's making the uh, round in this race so far. 
So Bacon gets a bit deep down into one or two that time. Griffin closes in behind and making a much better run through three and four that time. He gets uh, on that here's a play. Lewis Gaylor, oh man, absolute flyer so far in car 78. So Gaylor leads him through. 217 Fairhurst second, Bacon is third, Tom Harris up to fourth. Griffin is uh, fifth there and it's uh, in fact great finishing who now moves up ahead of Griffin down and through the corner. Tom Harris ahead of Sam Bacon as well, so he gets up into third. So Cody all ready for Tom Harris. Ray Finnegan trying to come back after him. Follow that gap as the bump is going from Matt Newson. Fires that one that six six wide there. And yet Tom Matt Harris going away from Craig Finnegan now on the clock at the moment. Gaylor in 78 goes back through. We are halfway next time, halfway yet, yeah, please. Oh, and Lewis Gaylor there fires in 215. Jeff Nichols, he collects. 381, Tyrone Evans down there. Dan Brook has gone down in that corner as well. Oh, and Matt Newson collects at the uh, recovery. Nichols there, making gets uh, a couple of places back in all of that. And now Charlie Sorter up to 120, Casey Anderson, so it really is all happening down there. Lewis Gaylor. Bit of smoke uh, from that car now. Drivers down the corner, oh, Chris Broxoff goes off there in between the tyres and then back. Oh, and all driver down there, Liam Gilbank's gone around, Sam Brick getting involved there, Broxoff has gone out once again there as well. We are five to go next time, five next time, with 84, Tom Harris now in the charge. 217 Fairhurst next. Oh, and huge there as 120 Engelston fires in that number 20 Gilbank, and we go red. To on the raceway, it's red, red, red on the raceway.